a message I was getting for you guys. They were saying, ignore this. Do not get involved. Um, yeah, whatever this is for you, it, it was literally saying, do not get involved. Ignore this because I feel like shit is just going to get worse and you do not want to be a part of whatever this is. For those of you interested in a personal reading, go check out my website at swordstarot.com to look at my different reading options over there. Also, be sure to go check out the new merch at swordstarotmerch.com. I have a lot of super cute stuff over there for you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into the video. Universe, what are the messages for Aries? Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups energy. So it definitely could be new love in some of you guys' life. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have the King of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah, some of you guys may be concerned or like wondering where things are going with an air sign. This could be somebody new for some of you guys. And of course, this could be somebody um, from some of your guys' past. Because the Nine of Swords, this is definitely... Someone that you have some experience with, even if it is like new or whatever. So I feel like also somebody could have tried to come back into your life. This could be the person that is um, trying to come back. And I do feel like it is a bit confusing. Maybe this person just like has you tripping, like kind of <laughs> like the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini, but I, I definitely feel that there's some shit going on between you and this person. Now we do have the Ten of Swords energy here. So I feel like something has ended or something is supposed to end. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Shit is not supposed to go any further. This could be why I was feeling do not get involved. For some of you, I feel like this is a past person. This is somebody that you have been with. Um, also, I am getting another scenario, kind of maybe from a cross watcher's point of view. Here's an um, Ace of Cups here. This could be somebody else they got in a new relationship. Maybe it's this person you were dealing with or maybe they were dealing with you, whatever. Whatever. this person is tripping that you're in a new relationship or that you're talking to somebody new same you guys can be talking to an earth side twist for go capricorn we have the queen of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck but regardless of whichever way this goes it could be vice versa somebody is upset that somebody else is in a new connection so we do have the four of wands energy here so of course the four of wands this can represent a relationship it can represent marriage as well maybe this is somebody that you guys have planned a future with maybe you guys are married and this is like a divorce type of situation um we do have the six of cups energy here so yeah for a lot of you this is somebody from the past that maybe has moved on or this person is upset that you have moved on from this situation they are still very heartbroken and they do still think about it like look at this person on their phone and sitting here thinking about this um yeah you're definitely very heavily on this person's mind so we do have the five of swords here and the empress so this makes me feel like somebody does not have good intentions here and it could be this person from the past for some of you um that are holding on to this person or if this person's holding on to you they do not have good intentions okay so it makes sense why it was saying don't get involved like do not get back involved or just do not get involved with this situation because it is not it is not going to be good. So clarifying the Ace of Cups, we do have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, I do feel like this new love is coming in for you guys. Or of course, this could be new love that has come in. But I do feel like for some of you, this is coming in. This is going to be a very solid offer. Ace of Pentacles, this is solid. Like This person is not bullshitting here. And the Six of Swords, this represents moving on and moving forward. So you are going to be able to move on from this past situation. Um, these past traumas, past difficulties that this person has caused because Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Swords, these are very difficult energies to deal with. So, of course, if this person here that you were dealing with causes you to feel like this, it's time to go because these this is not good energy at all we do have the ten of cups energy here as well um clarifying the ace of cups so do know if you allow yourself to let go of this the universe will in a sense reward you there is a lot better option a lot better energy coming in for you but you have to have the courage to walk away from this and to truly let it go i know that's a lot easier said than done but it's like it's gotta happen clarifying the nine of swords we have the seven of wands protect your own energy because I do feel like this person is going to try to talk to you, try to come back, all of that, even possibly make an offer. But it's like, don't fall for it because this person is still offering. They're not offering nothing good. Like they're still, it's still going to come with stress. I don't feel like this person's intentions are good. Five of Swords, if this person, you know, did you wrong in the past, possibly cheated, uh, third parties, lied, things like that. They're coming back right with that energy. Clarifying the King of Swords, we have the Judgment card. Some of you guys can be dealing with a Libra 
But judgment, this represents making a decision and making a final decision regarding this person and their energy. Like, I almost feel like the universe is like, yo, this cycle is over. Like, it, the reason it's so difficult is because the reason that you guys have got together, you have fulfilled that reason. You have learned that lesson or whatever was supposed to happen with you two being together. It's done. So shit between you two is only going to continue to be difficult because it's not supposed to be happening right now. So clarifying the Ten of Swords, of course, we have the Strength card. Have the strength and the courage to walk away from this situation and allow yourself to kind of take, you know, change is hard. So of course, taking that leap of faith and allowing change to come into your life is difficult but it needs to be done in this situation. Clarifying the Ten of Wands, we have the High Priestess. So it's like you already know intuitively and in your gut, you already know that this is not good. This situation is not going anywhere. This is toxic. This is not good. It's time to move on. But of course, it's really hard to, you know, especially if you had a lot of hope, Star Card Energy, if you had a lot of hope that this was, um, you know, going to go somewhere, you've kind of had your, your heart set on an outcome that maybe this person has promised you. It is hard. To let go of this but it's time to do just that but do know the star card this does represent healing as well so clarifying the three of swords your heart and your energy will heal from this situation i feel like the only way it is going to heal is if you let this person go or you let this friend group or whatever this is i do feel like there's a love relationship but for everyone it could be different it's very important to let this toxic situation go why is the four of wands energy here okay the two of wands so yeah do know that it's I almost feel like they're telling me your future and by your future i mean like the person you're going to marry the person that you're going to be with long term have kids with things like that um expand or start a family with it's in the future two of wands like this person's looking out do know what's coming in but it is not with a current person why is the six of cups energy here like it just looks like this person yeah they're gonna try to come back in they're going to try to make an offer to you. Knight of Wands, they just want to come in, have fun. Because, like, they they enjoy your energy. They enjoy how you make them feel. So it's like, of course, they're going to come back, try to make this offer. But if you look at this devil card energy, it looks inviting at first. But this is what they're really offering you. You are going to feel just like this if you accept this person's offer again. So I do feel like this is the universe testing you in a way. Like, okay, are you ready to move on? Are you ready to move forward and find this person have this new love come in ace of cups remember this new love is coming in that is a solid offer it's going to help you move forward you're going to be happy with this person but it's like you can't accept this offer because this will fuck everything up so be sure you are listening to your intuition and not your heart this is definitely a head over heart decision when this person tries to come back and tries to keep you in the cycle they're gonna try to keep you there so clarifying the five of swords we have the knight of cups so yeah this offer the five of swords this represents someone with bad intentions this offer is bullshit so do know if they're coming back like oh you know let me make this offer to you things will be better i'll change whatever that is bullshit so be sure that you know that because you have amazing love coming in even at the bottom of this deck we have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck so you do have new love coming in but it's going to take, you know, healing yourself and just being alone and just being single for a while, just allowing yourself to heal and move forward. And it's like that's when you're going to attract the right person into your life. Universe, what is the overall advice for Aries? Okay, Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands energy, this does represent forward movement. The strength card, yeah, exactly. Have the courage to move forward. Also, the Eight of Wands, this represents communication as well. Have the, I mean, if there is some things that you do need to say to this person to get off your chest, go ahead and say it. Six of Cups, go ahead and say it to this person. This represents the past. Um, if it will help you with your healing and all of that, do what you need to do, say what you need to say, and then bounce. So... I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. Also, check out the new merch at swordstarotmerch.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video.